Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 7. In the previous episode, um, Bell and like the whole team, the raiding team got inside uh, Gnosis. Uh, that is like something which was made by the Daedalus familia for about like thousand years. They've been like making it. And um, I think in this episode, obviously like Bell and Dix is going to have like a fight. And Dix is uh, level 5, I think it was uh, said in the previous episode, but because like he uh, activated a curse uh, that kind of reduced his uh, power. I'm guessing uh, even though like uh, it is reduced, but level like taking out on a level 5 is quite difficult because Bell is level 3. So even if it is reduced, I'm guessing it will be like, uh, like uh, I guess one like i'm thinking like one level would be most probably debuffed because of that uh, curse thing that he activated so still like uh, taking on a level four with uh, by a level three is a bit difficult because levels in this uh, anime in this world is pretty damn what can i say like uh, like one level difference is pretty damn like uh, like uh, has a big difference in it so yeah Anyways, let's see, let's people Bell previously took on a level uh, greater than him and uh, he lost although, but still, let's see. Let's see what happens in this episode. So, yeah, uh, guys, without further ado, uh, let's get started with episode number 7 of Danmachi season 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Here's the countdown. 3. Two, one, go. Okay. Yep, he like. Yeah, he is <laughs> pretty damn powerful for level three. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. Damn, he has like a huge weapon and Bell is like using a dagger. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, figured. So it's going to like continue flowing. Oh no, blood loss. They'll be like, it will make him weaker. Like, blood like continuously losing. Okay. Like because obviously like this arc is uh, <clears throat> focusing on like Wiener and on this whole stuff that is going on. A lot of people are like barely getting any screen time. For example, obviously like eyes. Uh, uh, Sir, did we like see Sir in this season at least once? I can't remember. Um. Uh, then who else? Uh, Freya, we didn't like we barely saw Freya in this like season. A little bit we saw, but and the whole like ISIS team, we like saw none of them. Like, let's see. Oh no, yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep. 
damn, what the? Wait, what? Who? Shakti is pretty strong, so who? M Minotaur is here. Yeah, I kind of figured that's the case. Nah, yeah, it's kind of like a curse. But he can't like, uh, like, but he wants to complete it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He was hurting those muscles the more. Okay, I kind of get it. What he's like. He was like. Uh, yeah, he was like. Uh, like. Okay. God damn. So he's like, uh, like, uh, losing his stress by doing all of these things. Okay. Well, basically, venting his stress. Mm. Oh boy, oh no. As always. Okay, so what the hell happened here? Was that a Minotaur? Or is it something else? That looks like a Minotaur. Oh boy, it's like... It even like defeated Perseus, Aisha, Shakti, Ryu even. So, how much strong is this thing? What the? Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, those things won't like matter to him. I guess he's taking him to Wiener. Hmm. 
Yep. Oh no. Wait, what is that? Oh, was, was that like something that's... Oh! Oh no! Was there some kind of seal or something? Oh my god, this is... Oh my god. What is this thing? It's like a... Like a Lamia and a like dragon kind of thing? Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, that was uh Shut up, please stop. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think he's going there to kill her. Oh my god, oh boy. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, he, like, she uh, scratched her bef him before. Okay. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, can you please like give it a rest? Can someone please shut this guy up? Like I get it, like he has some problems. But like at least he's annoying me now. Oh, wait, did he, did he like regain his senses? Yeah.
Come on, yeah. Okay, okay, now is the time, like... <laughs> I doubt you'll be able to kill him. So, oh! Okay, yes! Like, you deserve that. You deserve that. Like, these guys, even if they have problems, like, they were like going too far. Like, they're getting the taste of their own medicine now. Yes, come on. Okay, I hope that thing like knocks you out of like knocks you into your senses. Okay, they're back. Uh, what about Wiener? Oh, Wiener is not like affected by the curse. Wiener was like that's completely different. What's it going to? Oh, yeah. Um, cut off his hand so he won't be able to, like, uh, break that. Oh my god, he was like going to fall down. <clears throat> oh my god. Stop, just like... Oh my god, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, she's fine. Oh my god, things went like downhill so... Yeah, like they're all wounded. Okay, let's go. But, um, I'm guessing now they're like going to run into eyes and every one of them. Okay. Wow. 
um you're like venting your frustration on the wrong people you should have like blamed dicks not the monsters oh my god here it is Yup, oh boy, this will be a big problem. Yep. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, you have to like, I think, put that thing in his, in her head or something. Oh boy, here it is. Oh, wait, who's, who's thing is that? Oh no, here they are. Oh boy, ah, Loki familia. Oh no, this is. Oh my god. I thought maybe Ice was going to come, but the whole familia came. Like, this is like mo more of a problem. God damn. Yeah, like the amount of pressure that is like on Bell now. Oh boy. Uh, like I only thought maybe they are like going to have a run in with eyes or something. But the whole familia came like. Like, Ice could have been, like, I don't know, at least, like, reasoned with somehow, but... Like, there are, like, all of them are there now. Like, that, uh, I forgot all of their names, like, the Amazoness, uh, and uh, especially, um, the yellow-haired uh, guy. What was his name? I always forgot, forget the name. So many characters there are. Like, he is, like, the, I think he's the captain, isn't he? Yeah. And he's, like, one of the strongest ones. And also, like, um, the elf is also there, the green-haired elf. Why the hell did I forget the names? <laughs> what was their name? Um, uh, the green-haired elf's name is Riveria, isn't it? I'll have to check that out. Okay, another problem that uh, like we have is like that Minotaur. Oh boy, like so many things. That's the end.
Oh my god, yup, okay. Like, alright, this episode was, uh, uh, what can I say? Had a lot of things happening, and, yup, and, uh, Okay, so here's the thing, um, all of these, uh, what can I say, these uh, monsters and all, at least, like, they are, like, going to help Bell now, like, uh, I'm talking about the Xenosis, and they're, like, coming for uh, Bell, and uh, most probably, like, they'll uh, reach by the time the next episode starts, like, <coughs> as, uh, like, in the next episode, they'll reach Bell, and, um, like, at least, he has, like, a backup like that, but still, like um that does not uh erase the factor that bell is going to have to stand up to the people who were once his allies now like uh bell obviously like uh respects and looks up to ice so much so standing against her like that is definitely going to like take a toll on him and uh, like this is the first time he is going against his allies so that is like uh like the allies, the humans, the people who were like, uh, whom he like, uh, what can I say, with whom they, he lived in the upper, like in the lower world. All of those people, like most probably like uh, when he like went out, most probably he like ran uh, into a certain someone. That certain someone would be against him now. Like that uh, thought, that thing, that kind of like pressure that is uh, falling on to uh, upon him now is like that was the reason why he was like all sweating and everything and uh, he is also concerned at the factor that if his own familiar comes to his help they will also get branded now that is also something that is making him feel mo like more alone in the whole thing like he wants help he wants people to like his family members to help him but at the same time he can't like wish for it because wishing for like help from his family would make uh, like them uh, be branded as some kind of uh, traitor like that's basically the thing like now i'm guessing all of the people are going to uh, brand him as a traitor or something like that and like stuff like this is going to like escalate a lot like downhill and I don't know, like the only thing that is, uh, what can I say, uh, the only thing that is good in this uh, like situation is that Fels and I'm guessing Oranos is on Bell's side, I hope. Like, I know like Fels is on Bell's side, but uh, I'm not sure about Oranos because uh, he is a pretty, what can I say, uh, stoic guy, like he like barely... Uh, he makes any expressions and everything he is just like that like calmly uh, uh, judging things and as far as like uh, from the previous episode we at least got to understand that he was uh, in Bell's side and wanted like Bell to succeed in uh, making the Xenosis uh, like making a place for the Xenos in the up, like lower world he wanted that but I'm not sure if like things goes downhill what he will do but who knows like uh, like I think and I hope that he will still like help Bell in this case like somehow if Bell is able to uh, calm the whole situation and like make uh, Fels come back to her senses I'm hoping that he would be able to like I don't know vouch for him so that uh, like uh, the other people like does not brand him as a traitor or like does not go against Bell and his whole family. I'm hoping for it I don't know um, who knows and obviously like in the next episode I'm guessing like they were going to have uh, I don't know like a discussion and then most probably they are going to face off against the Loki familia and I'm not sure like if like uh, like Bell's teammates like uh, Welf, uh, Lily, uh, Mikoto, Haruhim all of them are like going to um, like uh it's going to like come out and like take uh, bell's side because obviously like uh, if they come out their whole family is going to suffer so i don't think bell wants that no one wants that so i'm not sure what's going to happen in the next episode uh, i'm guessing at least uh, like uh, xenosis will be uh, like arriving and they will like take uh, bell's side but other than that who knows 
and another thing that is concerned is, is oh also um another like a few people who like i had a little bit faith on were like um ryu uh, and then what was uh, her name uh, the, i'm talking about perseus uh, i forgot her like real name uh, anyways uh, like ryu uh, her then aisha like i had a lot of faith in them but like the minotaur like just wounded them and went away and they're like all um knocked out now so like i like i was sure that if like even if like all of them were like against bell at least like ryu then um aisha and persis would be on his side because obviously like persis is under hermes's command and i still don't know what hermes's take is on all of this because at the end hermes kind of said that uh, bell you fool so like like i'm like i'm not uh, like hermes wants good for bell that that thing we know all of us knows but i'm not sure if like he is going to stand against the whole like what can i say lower world to help bell like if, like he has that amount of what can i say so anyways like uh, even if persis was went in on their side at least like aisha would have been oh also aisha is also in hermes's family now uh, who knows I don't think like I uh, who knows anyways I'm just like uh, thinking like what could have happened but at least like Ryu would have been on Bell's side but she's like knocked out and who knows like uh, the uh, like Minotaur went someplace else and uh, I'm guessing that is the same Minotaur as uh, that Bell fought previously but I'm not sure if like how did he like uh like he was dead wasn't he yeah like bell completely killed him uh in like in season one so how did he like come back i might be wrong but like it, it might be some other minotaur might be like his like family or someone <laughs> i don't know like who knows but he like he his face was also not shown, but I doubt I could have recognized it even if like his face was shown because <laughs> Minotaurs look like all same. So like I doubt I could have recognized him. But anyways, uh, but he looked a lot more. What can I say? Uh, bigger and uh, I think he had a lot of like equipment, more equipment, like a huge ass kind of thing he had. So and also like I, I think he like had kind of uh, some kind of armors as well. Like he was well equipped. Who knows? Mm, and also another thing is like uh, that. Another thing that is quite um, like curious, uh, like I'm curious about, is that uh, jewel kind of thing that was uh, on Venus' head. Like, did any of the other Xenosas have that kind of thing? I don't think so. So what, like, what extra significance does that thing uh, play, <coughs> like on Venus? Like, we got like the. Fact, the fact that when that thing was taken out of Venus, <coughs> excuse me, head, uh, that uh, kind of made uh, Venus lose his, uh, lose her mind and went she went berserk. So that is kind of like I think uh, that kind of like uh, makes her keep uh, rational that thing. So uh, like taking that thing out kind of made her like lose her mind and go on a rampage. But um the like the thing is like the guys like uh when loki familia came th like uh the captain said one thing like there is no stone on its brow dispose of it immediately like what does that mean like like uh like, uh, like what does the significance of that stone and like like if there was like a stone would they have not disposed it off like if there was a stone on Winner's head he she would have been okay like not going on a rampage but i'm saying like uh even if like it, like Winner was normal and like had the stone and if like Winner came in front of them like would they have like uh did not kill her because like she had a stone on her head like what what does that mean like um I can't remember if like they never like uh, discriminated on like between monsters like uh, if they had some kind of stone or not like I, this is the first time I'm hearing something like this like uh, a stone on his like if there's a stone on his in his brow then perhaps like they would have spared him or something spared her or something I don't know um this is like some things that are like a few questions that uh, came up on this episode.
and uh, yeah and dix uh, as always like i, I know like uh, <coughs> dix has kind of like um not um tragic but kind of uh, like uh, what can i say weird and um, like not sad i can't call it sad but a real uh, problematic backstory like that backstory was kind of like you can kind of feel what he is feeling like always the thing in his like blood uh, asking him to like complete the dungeon uh, complete the complete notches but uh, like that thing always like rampaging inside him and uh, like he like uh, using other monsters and like xenosis for like his own stress relief like those things are not correct but like i get it why he's doing it like uh, all of the stress and everything uh, was like building up on him and like he became twisted just like that because of that so but i don't know like uh that does not uh like nullify whatever he has done up until now like he did bad things and he definitely like needs some kind of uh like justice or punishment and he needs to be brought to justice i'm not sure what like they're going to do with him later on but most probably like they're going to arrest him or something i don't know like arrest him take him to is there some like is there a system called arresting in this world who knows like there is a law in here i guess so what happens if like someone is uh does something bad in this world like do they like capture him and like i don't know anyways like i hope like he gets some kind of punishment at least like i'm sure like he will be like brought to justice later on but uh like the things that he has done those need some kind of uh way to be uh like he needs to be punished because of those things so yeah and uh okay what else um yeah that was this episode like uh in the beginning the, those were the things oh also like uh the uh xenosis uh, got out of that mind control thing and uh we kind of like tried to get out of the whole thing but still the uh it was like uh, like his own like her own instincts were more powerful than uh the rationality in his in her mind so it kind of failed so i don't know what's going to happen next <laughs> like uh, the whole like the thing is like xenos is kind of rampaging so like bell has to do two things at the same time like um uh, stop the loki family and all of the people from killing uh Wiener. and at the same time like save himself from being killed by Wiener because like she's just behind him and she's rampaging like as soon as like she gets that weapon off of him she's going to start rampaging again and bell is also going to get like mixed up in that so like this is a problem in, in because of that so like usually like if you like try to save someone from all of the other people at least like that person listens to you and like stays still or at least like helps you to do something but in this case like the person bell is trying to save is not in the right mind and that is also like going to pose a problem because like she's going to rampage at the same time the other guys are going to try to kill her like she had like bell has to save her himself from Venus rampaging and at the same time uh not let her get killed by uh, the loki family and also at the same time uh make sure that none of the other like bystanders gets hurt by Venus. like if somehow any bystander gets hurt that will like pose a more problem like like i don't know what's going to happen then like uh, this will like I i'm sure like uh, Venus will be disposed of then like if somehow somehow like uh, a, any bystander or any um, people who like are not involved in this whole thing gets hurt like, that will be a bit like become a big problem and i'm sure like uh i don't know like Vina will be like uh, disposed of then like that will be a problem so all of these things at the same time and bell is also like uh facing the whole uh, kind of like pressure uh, standing in front of all, all of the people whom he once was allies with yeah a bad, big problem
So yeah guys, um, that was this episode. Oh, also like the Minotaur is pretty damn strong. Like how did it become so strong? I, I don't even know if that is the same Minotaur. If that is the same Minotaur, my question is like how did it become alive? And how is it so damn strong? Because obviously like as far as I knew that thing was level like uh, like Bell fought uh, with him when he was level 1 and defeated him. But now the Minotaur is like defeating the level 3s and level 4s. Like, Shakti, I'm not sure. I think Shakti is level 4 or 3, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, Ryu is level 3, I think. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, and all of these, like Aisha as well. So, what, what the hell happened? Like, how did he become like so strong? If it's a different Minotaur, then I can kind of guess. Like, it is something different. And it might be some kind of like stronger Minotaur. Who knows? But I think that is the same Minotaur. I don't know why, because... Like that, uh, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, uh, okay, that was this episode. Uh, this is episode number seven of um, Danmaji season three. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode, this anime, anything. Just comment and I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, so yeah, I'll be back with a new episode of Danmachi next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.